Hello and welcome to AUC TV News Bulletin. This is Mohammed Salem. AUC Venture Lab held their expo, which was a two-day event that allowed the startups to showcase their innovative products and services. AUC community had the chance to meet VLab for 19 startups and learn about the latest business ideas in today's entrepreneurial scene. Founders gave their attendees their ID numbers in a box and they participated in a prize draw to win AirPods, GPL speakers, or FIFA 20. In a long line, students waited for ice cream offered by Cold Stone as a good deed to encourage students to attend. As a startup, VLAB offered the boost, and definitely it was a huge experience for me. It gave me a chance to get the exposure to me. Uh, especially in the segments between the market, uh, home and community, the American community. People were interested in the products, بتاعتي, and definitely it was an uh, excellent experience to Julud. The AUC Venture Lab is Egypt's first university based startup incubator and accelerator and it was recognized as a top university business incubator in Africa and high-impact incubator in the MENA region by UPI Global. Since its relocation to the new campus in 2008, AUC has provided a bus service for the members of its community. The majority of the beneficiaries are the students who frequently use the bus to go to and from the university. Some students prefer to buy a ticket by ride instead of paying the past pass subscription fees per semester. Single ride prices have been subject to change in the past four years due to floating of the Egyptian currency. In 2016, the single ticket price was for 25 LE, then increased to 30 in 2017. The bus service has already set a cost for the one ride ticket. The new ticket fees were announced to be 45 LE. A recurrent complaint is that the service provided is neither compatible with the ticket fees nor the whole semester fees for those who pay for permission. AUC and I'm against uh, increasing prices of the AUC buses. I think the prices were 35 at first and they increased them to 45. And I don't understand the reason behind this increase since they're not adding anything new to the bus service. With the available competitiveness among transportation providers such as Uberbus or Swivel, which offer ride for only 10 LE and maybe less, would AUC students continue to take the bus? we we'll discuss that further in the interview segment. The Department of Journalism and Mass Communication will host a photography exhibition called Live Exposed. The exhibition showcases selected visual stories from the Danish School of Media and Journalism, Digimex, based in Denmark till December 5th in Abdul Latif Jamil Hall. The Digimex program allowed 10 international photojournalism students to create a magazine with individual photo stories on diverse themes, such as personal identity, immigration, and nature. Uh, what I really like about the exhibition is that the photographs are really dynamic and that they, they depict human emotions. There are also written contents next to each photograph, so you can really, you can really get what the photographer wanted to tell you. Um, some are in red, uh, uh, colors and some are in black and white, depending on the content of the photograph itself. And I think uh, they're trying to give a certain message about some of the people we don't really think about and we view as negative. Life Exposed displays selected images and the stories from two magazines, Avalanche and NIST, that are all done by students from the Danish School of Media and Journalism. Moving on, the AUC Library hosted the 5th International Games Day EGD on Wednesday, November 6, outside the library, which focuses on the social and recreational side of gaming. On this day, participants like Technospace, Future Technology, and the other companies who won previously many prizes. Games found were online games, robotic games, and virtual reality games, like educational robotics. Uh, good morning. I'm talking about the International Games Day. My name is Sahar Subeh. I'm the Assistant Dean for Libraries and Learning Technologies. Uh, this is our fifth year uh, joining the International Games Day. 
It's an international event uh, and it's uh, actually uh, started by the, inter the American Library Association and um, libraries from... IDG encourages students to interact with diverse peers and develop new strategies for gaming and learning. The aim of this event was to show people that games aren't just a tool for entertainment, but they can be also a tool of learning. Interested students can build their own game one year from now by contacting the IGD organizer, start their own adventure. That was all for today for our news segment. Coming up, our interview with Salma Ihab and Muhammad al fai from the SU. I'm sure you're all interested to know more about the SU and what its work involves. So stay with us. Welcome to our interview segment. If you have never been introduced to the student union of AUC, you have never known how a good SU works. Throughout years, AUC's SU have been a driving motor for effective reforms at the university. Today, I have the pleasure to host Salma Ihab, a political science undergraduate senior, who is the vice president for the union of the academic year 1920. Since his school, Salma has been interested in community and charity work. For her elections campaign, she has worked with her fellow colleague, Mohamed al fai to reform the SU working mechanisms with the bulk of those focusing on an inclusive, innovative, and impactful vision that directly speaks to a plan tailored towards enhancing our academic experience, both inside and outside the class, introducing an interdisciplinary approach and focusing on life after graduation. So welcome, Salma. Thank you so much for having me. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So Salma, I would like to start with you. Since you have been always involved in extracurricular activities uh, off and on campus, so I would like, what are the challenges that you face on daily basis after having been the vice president? I think uh, one of the biggest challenges I face, and it's a very normal challenge for students to face, is kind of uh, creating the appropriate balance between my extracurricular life and my academic life. Yeah. Especially being a senior, a graduating senior, mm. um, it's very, uh, it, it's very overwhelming at times to kind of have to manage both. So attending classes and doing well in your assignments, in your papers, in your projects and presentations, and performing mm. to the maximum when it comes to the students' union. So I think this has personally been one of the biggest challenges. But I've been very blessed and very fortunate with an incredible team uh, that allows me to kind of be able to do both, feeling very, very comfortable and very relaxed. Mm -hmm. So mentioning uh, doing your academic work and balancing between your studies and your work at the SU, uh, your program at during the elections actually focused on the academics, which was quite new for the SU. We have been used to SU previous campaigns focusing on providing new services, facilitating uh, another uh, facilities and services at the campus. So why academics in particular? I don't think uh, our campaign wasn't exclusively focused on academics. It was mm. definitely a big part. And uh, relative to what other campaigns had done, it seemed as though academics was at the core mm. of it, but it definitely wasn't. We, our plan kind of had a very broad range of things to cover from academics to services. Services were very important to us, to political representation, to community integration, because as you said, our campaign was driven by the motto include, innovate, impact. It mm -hmm. starts with include. So we had an entire part of our plan, an entire part, a committee entirely in the union mm -hmm. that de dedicated to community integration, the kind of mapping and pinpointing the hotspots in campus where people feel that they're left out and not addressed by the students' union mm -hmm. to kind of bring them into that uh, picture. Um, the focus on academics, as I said, not exclusively on academics, but we felt like academics are very, very important. And being students, it is at the core of what we do. Mm. So if you're not part of a team or if you're not part of uh, a, an extracurricular activity or such, at the end of the day, you're always going to be a student. And what you get out of university is your bachelor's degree as a student. So we felt like there is an opportunity for us there 
to make that mean something more, to make mm. that have more value by complementing it with job shadowing opportunities, with conferences, with internships, with competitions, with enhancing the classroom experience inside the classroom to begin with. That's great. But actually, uh, I have read in your campaign that you were planning to launch an SU app, right? Yes. Which would calculate uh, or monitor at least uh, the course offerings, uh, the attendance and GPA calculations. So I would like to hear from you about that. Okay, uh, we did launch the SU app. Uh, you have uh, launched it, it has already. Been launched Interesting. And yes, and we just launched a recent update. But the SU app is separate from uh, the academic initiatives because all academic initiatives, so anything that has to do with course offerings, anything that has to do with your official GPA, is mm. part of the university's administration. And that's something as students we don't have access to. So I can't get access to that type of information to all students. Mm -hmm. So our app, the SU app, there's an SU app and there's an AUC app. Both of them complement each other. So for example, you can see the course offerings and you can see your calculate your GPA and all of that. Mm -hmm on the AUC's app but everything else so for example we have on our app we have a very fun trivia that happens every Wednesday and you answer questions and if you answer all the questions right you get a prize um, we have something like maps so if you're lost and you don't know how to head to class this is especially for freshmen you type in the number of the class and the app kind of takes you there so yeah, we already launched our yeah. app uh, but these services are more part of the university's administration rather than us. Mm. I like how you are complementing between yeah. your own work and uh, what the university do actually. Yeah. So I would like to know lastly what the SEO keeps for AUC and uh, for the spring 20. I mean, you'll have to stay uh, tuned and find out. I don't want to ruin any surprises. Okay. Uh, we have a very, very big competition coming up. We mm. launched it a few days. It's called the Student uh, Union Real Life Competition. Mm -hmm. The Real Life Competition is one of the biggest competitions that happens on campus. And this year, we're doing it uh, in partnership with the UNZP and the Ministry of uh, the Environment. It's uh, about uh, you know, the competition is for solving the waste management issue here we have in Egypt and it's going to be a very very big deal yeah? that's one of the mm. biggest events we have coming up next semester I'm only going to talk about that one because we already launched it but okay. everything else I'd rather not ruin any uh, surprises we have that is all great I wish okay. you all the best of luck thank you in so your much. coming endeavors it has been a pleasure meeting you thank today you so much. thank you thank you have a good day thank you all for watching I hope that you had a better idea about how an SU helps the students to having an incredible experience, especially at AUC. Don't forget to subscribe to our AUC YouTube channel to watch the full episode. Thanks for watching.